Many Minerva, providing enrichment and encouraging inquiry in a rapidly changing world. Hi everyone, my name is Choma Vivian Ngonade and I'm an African archaeologist. Chioma is an archaeologist. Which means she looks at objects from a long time ago to learn about history. She looks at how people used to farm in Nigeria during the Stone Age by looking at very old plants. Today she will be talking to us about the Stone Age. And today I'll be talking to you about the Stone Age. So many years ago people lived quite differently and the way they lived is different from how we are living at the moment. The Stone Age began a very long time ago when people were making tools from stone. That is why it is called the Stone Age because most of the tools that were made at, that, at the time were made from, tools, from, from stone from stones, but some tools were also made from bones, from ivory and other type of materials. So the earliest evidence of the Stone Age came from a site in Tanzania, East Africa, and that site is called the Old Dubai Gorge. There are some other sites in Tanzania, like the Laitoli, there are some other sites in Kenya, in Ethiopia that has the earliest, that does also have evidence of the element, evidence of the early Stone Age, the late Stone Age and Middle Stone Age. And also in Britain, there are sites that um, have um, evidence that early Stone Age people also inhabited um, Britain. The Stone Age people also inhabited the Britain. They, they were also in China and some other parts of the world. So these, some of these places where they were seen, where their material culture have been recovered is, show, uh, is shown on the, on the map here. But that doesn't cover all the areas that um, they have been recovered. Now, the classification of the Stone Age period. In sub-Saharan Africa, the Stone Age is um, classified and are known as the Early Stone Age, Middle Stone Age, and Late Stone Age. But in Europe and uh, Britain, it's um, classified as the Paleolithic Age, the Mesolithic Age, and the Neolithic Age. But both of them are the same. It's just different terminologies. That, that is being used in, the diff in different contexts. So the early Stone Age or the Paleolithic, as the case may be, um, the early Stone Age had the earliest and the simplest type of tools um, that we are used, that we are made and used by early men. And these tools, they were quite simple, like the pebble, as you can see here, this is a very simple tool, that, like the spheroid, the hammer stone, and this, this pebble tool is made, um, you know, with the aid of a hammer stone and with the aid of this hammer stone, you knock off some of the flakes to give it this edge, to give it a crude cutting and chopping edge, you know, and with this tool, um, the whole, the, the human type, the human type that, um, that is associated with the early stone age um, is at this stage, at this stage, the human type that made use of the to these tools are known as the Australopithecines. Uh, you know, the, 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 the other human type is also the Homo habilis. So they, they are the one that have believed, that we believe to have made use of these tools. And with the pebble, they were able to um, obtain meats. They were able to cut the carcass of uh, animals that they've killed. And with the hammer stone and the pharaoh, they, they used it to, to break knots because apart from hunting for animals, the element also um, go out to, to gather wild vegetables, to get fruit, to get nuts that, that they will eat as well. So as they, they, they eat animals and they also we are eating um, other types of food. So that is, that is to say that at this earliest phase of the Stone Age, the early human that are known as the Australopithecines made use of these very simple tools. Then as time goes on, the element or the hominins, you can call them that, um, started making much better tools. The, the tools they made were, were much better than the pebble tools, than the earlier tools that I showed you. They were much, much sophisticated. And these tools that they made um, had some of the, most of them had a pointed edge and some of them like the cleaver, the one here had um, an, an oval shape. And with these tools, they were able to hunt much bigger animals than their predecessors. And they were able to exploit 
their environment and to explore their environment to a greater percentage. And at this stage, the, there was evidence of fire. And I would like you to know that the early human who we are believed to have made these, these tools are known as the Homo erectus, Homo erectus. So they were believed to have made and used this type of tool. So at this stage with the Homo erectus, they were making use of the hand axe, they were making use of the cleaver, and they were making use of the scrapers and some other tools. And you remember that the, their predecessors known as the Australopithecus saints made use of pebble, they made use of spheroid, and they're you know, very simple tools. Now, coming to the Middle Stone Age, the Middle Stone Age um, comes between the Early Stone Age and the Late Stone Age, comes between the Paleolithic and the Neolithic. So at the Middle Stone Age, the tools that we are made at the Middle Stone Age, we are much smaller. The, you know, there was a great um, specialization in terms of making tools. They were much smaller and um, effective as well. And because of the size, of these tools, they are, they, they are known as the microliths. Some of the microliths, some of these tools here, some of them are, are known as points, you know, because they're very small, um, you know, and, and they, do, they have a lot of different types of functions. And to make them much more effective, the element had to get them hafted on stick so, so that they could stand at a distance and throw the, 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 spare, the, the stick, this, they can stand at a distance and throw the stick or the spear because they were using spear, bows and arrows at an animal, you know, without, without endangering themselves. And the, whole, the human type that is associated with this stone, this stone tool is known as the Homo neanderthal. You can also call them the Homo neanderthaliensis. And also at the Middle Stone Age period, the Mesolithic period, they started using, like I met previously, they started using spear, they were hunting birds, they were also fishing as well. So you can see that as they were, as they were going up, they were in inventing much better ways of eating, better ways of um, exploring and exploiting their environment um, on a daily basis. And the, the human at this time, at, at, the, at this period, at the early Stone Age and the Middle Stone Age, we are nomads they were going from place to place looking for food to eat they were you know they were not settled in an area they have to discover scavengers they have to go out on a daily basis to look for food to eat now the late stone age is quite unique because at the late stone age the the modern human the full fully grown or known modern human that is known that is referred to as the homo sapiens sapiens emerged and when, and when this human came about, came, emerged, um, at this stage, there was um, evidence of farming. They started farming, started cultivating crops, and started taking care of animal domestication. And because they had to, they, they, they started farming, they had to settle in a place. And they started building structures, houses, to enable them to stay at a place to take care of their animals and the crops as well. And also at the uh, late stone age, um, they, they made pots, they made pots to enable them to cook food because they, were, they started farming. They also made use of the pot to store water, to store their grains and so many other, other functions. And also there was also evidence of cave paintings. So most of the, the people at, at, this, at this time period were also painting and doing, um, you know, painting the caves that they lived in. And because they've started farming and cultivating, they were able to grind some of the seeds, they, some of the wheat and barley into, to use them to make bread to eat as well. And the, the tools of the late Stone Age um, were quite unique and different. We can see here the polished stone axe, the board stone, and these tools to enable the element to, to cultivate effectively, they have to be hafted you know, they have to be hafted so that they can use it to dig up the soil. They can use it to dig up tubers. They can use it to dig up so many other things. So most of the tools that we are made, that we are being used at this stage, we are hafted on sticks. So the, 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 the early, the Stone Age homes, in the early phase, in the early 
phase of the Stone Age period, the early Stone Age and the Middle Stone Age as well, the human um, the human types or the human at this period we are live, live mostly in caves. They also lived in rock shelters. And, and with time, they started using the bones of the animals that they kill to make um, shelters as well. They use the bone, that is why it's called the bone hut. And some of them also use, made use of grasses to also put up a structure for themselves. Now, um, in Britain, there are Stone Age sites, like I mentioned in the earlier slides, but the, 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 the one that I will speak briefly on is the Stonehenge. The Stonehenge is an international monument that is known worldwide, and it consists of um, secular henges that are standing. Some of them are still standing, and some of them are lying on the floor. They are falling over. But um, although at the moment we don't know how they were made or what they were used for, but they are very interesting um, Stone Age sites that everybody loves to go and visit. Then we also have Scar Scarabra, which is in Scotland. And this site consists of um, 10 clustered houses that we are made with stone. These houses were made with stone. Even the furniture inside the houses were also made with stone. You know, so it, these are very in, interesting sites in Britain. So how do we get to know about this information about the Stone Age, how they lived, what they did, and you know, how they made their tools? We get to know about this because some scientists who are known as archaeologists go up to dig up this information. And when they dig up the information, they dig up the bones of the early people, they dig up the tools that they use, and they study them. And from studying them, they can tell us how these people live, what they were doing, and everything that they did, which is very, very interesting. So I would like you to answer some of these questions. Um, what are the three classification of the Stone Age period? Name the three Stone Age tools and their uses that you know from what we've from what we've talked about. And what do you think archaeology is? And who is an archaeologist? Thank you so much for listening. Bye. Thank you so much to Chioma for her very interesting talk. Think that you could be a budding archaeologist? Check out the Bright Idea projects that you could try yourself. What's an archaeologist's favourite type of music? What is an archaeologist's favourite type of music? Rock. <laughs> <laughs>